So it's a matter of like presenting yourself in a good way. The way you carry yourself, but if you're just going there to the mall, you bump into a kid, you're wearing a mapaka paka and the short in your face, the <laughs> I people always, are going to say, ah, I man. Wear my say, no, but you're, always, you're, you're, you're home. <laughs> but, but people are going to say, ah, no, footballers, hey, yeah, this one is this one famous with on TV. <laughs> but if you're presentable, oh, this kid is going to, oh, I want to be like this. Cool level on couch. Hey, hello and welcome to yet another episode. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for commenting, liking and subscribing on our content today. We have a very, very special guest. Uh, I make a point sometimes not to talk to football players because I talk nonsense about them on my content. Uh, but uh, he's been gracious enough to come through uh, and speak to us. Willis Katsande, uh, Kaiser Chiefs legend, Zimbabwe international, I escaped town. Um, thank you very much for joining us. So how are you? Thank you very much, Nkulek. How are you? I'm good, thank you, man. Do you dislike me for the things I've said about you in the past? No, 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 no. The most important thing is it's uh, uh, it's, it's it's about constructive criticism. Yeah. So obviously, nothing personal is strictly business. So mm. I I take it. How are players responding to the content? I mean, there's a rise of YouTube creators now. Yes, a short time video go about YouTube. It's a new thing, of course, because when you were starting out, go about go about IX Cape Town about 2012, 2013, mm. these things didn't exist at the time. So how are you guys responding to it? Disky TV and a lot of other YouTubers who are talking about you and even on Facebook, mm. people are saying things about your performances. How is playing football in this period? Yeah, I think I think nowadays to be honest, uh, it's bit it's bit it's bit tough. Uh, and it's good for uh, for us we uh, the current generation that we are the most documented uh, generation mm. but at the same time it's very very uh, tough and sensitive and it's also playing into players uh minds now because remember the families who are on social media as much as me i can control myself how i feel but my family they read these things kids at school you know so it's actually playing a uh, Positive and negative. Positive is also gives you that mileage in the media for people to know who you are, what yeah. you are, what you are doing. Negatively is uh, when things are not going well and people are calling you names. People are, are criticizing you about your performance. Because sometimes constructive criticism is good, but sometimes people. Uh, the fans, because they are the boss of the game, they went beyond knowing that this is a human being, not a human being goes inside the field to actually perform bad. But at the same time, you know, uh, like I said before, the families, we have families on social media, when they hear those comments, they screen grab and send you, whether you like to to avoid it, but at the same time, it will pass through your, your ears. Yeah, so is there a concerted effort from players? to not always be on social media now do the clubs tell you i know you uh, recently retired but you, we still remember you from playing it's like yesterday you're playing for kaiser chiefs do you remember you guys being coached and trained to avoid social media when you were chiefs yeah obviously you know when i when i was chiefs I, we we went to social media training uh media media training uh media training way by how to control yourself in the media how to answer question how to 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 close some 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 negativity and try to focus on the on the positivity and also during or uh, during the season you have to limit your your interaction on social media and also uh, prayer to the game you also need to avoid it and also maybe the team is not doing well like you come back from a defeat you know so those kind of things you know there's a serious abuse on social media you have to also to to find yourself in a in a in a in a, in a good balance whereby Sometimes, you know, you feel like, Ish, I've made my team lose, you know, uh, in a defeat. You are the, 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 the main man in, in maybe to create a penalty or a mistake, you know. Then, he, obviously, I'm feeling bad with myself. Then you go to social media to interact. Then you can find a, 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 a funny comment which is going to actually deject you even more. So those are the things we were told to, to, to actually stay away from it until you find yourself big again you know it's always good to go to social media when the team is winning yeah but you are your one player actually was being able to play the social media game because number one your fashion sense is good mm -hmm. there was a point during covid where you were actually making those videos um <laughs> where you always like that kind of flamboyant wearing dressing uh player like is it was it deliberate someone told you or your wife told you how about you wear this and do this kind of video 
Yeah, I think my wife, I had the green fashion, so I <laughs> I say she says something in it. She's but here, get, though. She's here, so she can she it, can confirm or deny. Yeah, yeah. But you know, uh, me, I'm, I'm, I'm a village boy. Uh, I grew up, my, br- my upbringing was tough. So for me to come and abuse me on social media, I just feel for my family, you know, how they're taking it, how they feel, you know, that kind of thing. But it's especially for me. I'll know that I I can I can control it because there are certain moments where by the team as was not doing well and I just it was aiming towards me but I never changed I kept on pushing and I gave my all because if you are to judge me with my position I was giving my all you never fault on my commitment but yeah when it comes to to fashion you know fashion is always good we love clothes everybody loves clothes so <laughs> we, <laughs> but we, you you love them more than us I mean, oh well it looks like you love them more than us it's not a bad thing actually because yeah. I, I used to like it I yeah, remember yeah. even the Sunday Times did a, a a feature on you I think BBK did a feature on you yeah. on Sunday Times mm. because that's how big it was at the time during COVID exactly you were shooting those videos yeah you know those videos was, was a matter of I had a, a, a bigger vision which wanted to accumulate enough following because if you could see the people follows me they are not only football circles they are all over it was a matter of trying to to make fun out of the video but at the same time I had a vision of starting my cl- my clothing brand which is Bossy and Bok. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that uh, in a moment. Uh, can you tell me about being a Kaiser Chiefs player? Um, how crazy was that? Because Tina, we are YouTubers and we become famous. Whenever we go to stadiums, <laughs> myself, so Junior Kanye, like there's a lot of fans that are around us but with you guys, you play for the biggest brand in, in the Sadek region which is Kaiser Chiefs. How crazy is playing for the team? I think Kaiser Chiefs is not only big in Sadek. I think Kaiser Chiefs is big in Africa. Yeah. Uh, because all the, wherever we went during the, 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 the calf, you could feel the vibration of the team. And the, and we knew that the team needs to stay in this kind of tournament because the team always loved around the, the, the continent. Yeah, being a, a, a Kaiser Chiefs... Uh, a uh, professional football player it's not it's not easy it comes with uh, consequences yeah and uh, you know one thing it it taught me it taught me to be not, not never be satisfied with what you did today because there's another day tomorrow so yesterday today and tomorrow there are three different days so when i was when when i played i knew that this, this can be my last game why because if you don't perform well somebody wants to take your position Secondly, if you don't perform well, the, 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 the supporters won't be happy with you and they will be booing you. So I knew that exactly where I'm coming from, from Zim, I need to earn a living through football. To be honest, I came into Kaiser Chiefs setup without knowing what's, what's the demands I don't want to like. Yeah. But when I found myself <laughs> in there, I had six months to adjust like, you know what, uh, we let, you are in a different, different environment. Then I had to taught myself how to, to survive with the big sharks. But... Uh, in a positive way, it changed my life to be where I am today. For people to respect me down here in South Africa, is because of what I, what I, what I've done in my in my in my period I spent at Chiefs. And negatively, is like when the team's not doing well. That's when you feel the pain of playing for a big team. Because remember, when you play, you are playing against uh, your opponent. You need to make your friends happy. You need to make you a, 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 a management happy. Imagine you're playing against three important things whereby those three, you need to tick all the boxes. So you must know that the, the energy you use is a lot. And remember, the player you play against, he wants to take your contract. So it was tough, but I enjoyed it and I'm happy and I'm proud. I can look back and say, wow, what a career for me. Yeah, for sure. It was, although... It, it, in the last seven years, it became very difficult because there was no trophies. And us, uh, we grew up around the club. We knew Guti they would win at least two trophies per season. Even despite that, you had seasons where you would be the player of the season. I remember that you were one of the players of the season. I can't remember which year, whether yeah, it was twice. 17 or 16. Yeah, tw- twice. Yeah, you won it twice? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, but then... Uh, it was in that period where they were not winning anything, everything, anything as well. How How... Was there any point where even Oprah Kaiser came to the dressing room or even with the players' meetings continuously to say, guys, it's been five years, we've won no trophies, we really need to make these people happy? Did you start feeling the pressure when it got to year number five, number six? 
obviously we 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 going i mean playing for case chiefs there's there's a pressure on its own and uh you know when you're a professional footballer you need to to know how to work under pressure yeah obviously we we wanted to win and the team has been was recruiting well but unfortunately uh, things were not going well uh for whatever reason but you know one thing i've seen and studied it was like success goes through in circles i don't know if you try to get what i'm saying is uh, when i came to south africa success was by super sport then it goes to pirates then it comes to chiefs then it goes to sundowns so now what i can tell you but is the like, sundown cycle is no, very no, no, long no 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 you know let the me sundown let, cycle let, is me, long let, me, long. let me now get into details five consecutive league titles no let me get into details now sure. is uh when the success is within your house mm. try by all means to keep it within Maintain it. because the minute it goes out of the door to get it again maybe you might find yourself the situation where in five five seasons without anything mm. so one thing i can say the the minute success comes in your house try by all means to keep it within mm. for five six ten years because the minute it goes out whether you 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 you, you get messi ronaldo it was still gonna slip up one minute so make sure success when it comes to your to your door make sure you keep it within try by all means to keep it within because when it when it goes away mm. it goes away for good generation so so, so generation. there's these two years where Stuart Baxter wins the title it's 20 it's 2013 and 2015 yeah. right that's like a successful period for Chiefs because a league title is the most important thing uh, for, for us who love football. That's the most important thing. You can win four matches and win the MTN eight, but that's only four matches that you've mm. won. The league is 30, is 30 matches long. It's a marathon. Stuart Baxter wins in 2013. He wins in 2015. Mm. And that was the last time Kaza Chiefs ever won anything. Now, I get what you're saying in that maintain that dynasty, mm -hmm. maintain that level of success. How do you think then the club should have done to, to ensure, is it, are you then saying recruit better? Um, are you then saying perhaps keep Stuart Baxter in that period so that he continues with the dynasty? What could they have done to at least maintain winning those league titles at the time? I think you know where we, we, we got it from that time. Uh, we were... We, we were we won a, a, a two league uh, titles under under Stuart, and the other one, it the the, the twenty thirteen and twenty the twenty fourteen one, we lost it last minute. It's just one a slip up of of course football is a game of competition. Sure. So now, what I can tell you is, by that time when we won the second league, remember we had a regular players. They left us. Yeah, that's Tefu mm. uh, mm. uh, that's Mandla Masango, Masango that's um, Kingston Gata. Yes. Um, I think Renolodi Solunyana leaves at some point around that, or no, he stayed he, a little bit. He stayed for another season. Yeah, but there was a lot of players that left at that time. Le left, and it destabilized us. And mo moreover, other teams were getting strong. Mm. So where, that's where we got it wrong. Remember, we, we lost important players, not just a pl important players, leaders in the team. And now we, we lost the 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 coach, Mr. William, you understand? And you could see now the dynamics already changed. So when a new coach came in, obviously we have to adjust to the methods he wants, uh, to understand each other, to, to build the chemistry. So that's where we got it wrong mm -hmm. in terms of that. And uh, it was a matter of like, from there we had lots of injuries. Uh, the guys who, who, who won this, this the... The, 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 league season, the, the league previous year, we got injuries. But if you could say, take the positives out of that season, when we last won the league the, the following season, we went to two cup finals, we lost. Oh yeah, and a stiff yeah, compiler, So, so was you could MTN see eight. that the, 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 there was still something in the DNA with us. But sure. I feel like there, we should have, maybe, you know, coaches, players come change, uh, comes and go. But if we kept one side very solid, which is, was in the field, it was going to help us or maybe if the, the in the field players thinking okay they're going for greener pastures and we have the the mm. coach i think the one thing as well um that um people miss from this period is that i think chiefs starts to adopt um a a rule around contract uh, extensions with over 30 year old players because if you remember utefo mashamayete is 32 at the time Kingston Gata was 29.30. So I think even with those negotiations, it was more difficult for them to get uh, three-year contracts, for example. You know, I think maybe that was one of the one of the reasons why some of the players had to leave for, for greener pastures. 
Yeah, you know, when it comes to contracts, you know, it's it's between the the management and the and the players. Obviously, when they agree, disagree, we can only see in the dressing room who who's in, who's 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 out. But the most important thing, like I said, it was a matter of try to to keep what we had for that particular sure. time. All right. Um, can we look at 2020, which was the closest you got to something, um, and then you lose it? Uh, in the very last day of the season. You played in that game against Barroca, Kambala equalizing, and you losing the title. That was very, very... That was a stressful day even for us as, as Itiski. We're doing content. We don't know who's going to win and who's, go, who's not going to win the title. I am sure with you, the players, that was a very, very difficult day. Uh, Ernst Smith and Dorp, I think it was his last game. At some point in that league season, you lead by 12 points. Um, and then I think... The most dramatic thing that happens in that period is you allow Sundowns, and this is not your decision, it's the management's decision. You allow Sundowns to sign George Malulega on a pre-contract. Therefore, you cannot play the last 10, 12 games of the season. And you lose, and I, I always say this, that you lose largely because George, who was more often a central attacking midfielder, is not there anymore. Um, how was that day for you? Yeah, brother, you know that day, if I remember, because we, could, we thought we are... We, uh, Closer, and we thought, like you know what, this is this is this is us, 2020. But unfortunately, like I said, success goes through a uh, 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 circles. Uh, maybe if if, if it, it, it the success was in, in inside our house, maybe one or the other one corner kick we we're gonna score and win the trophy from nothing. But uh, you know, to say that Georgie is um, exclusion from the squad. Yeah. was a, 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 a main factor for us to lose the league. I stand to differ. Okay. Why I'm saying so? Because look, we are on, the, on, a, on a good song. And the COVID crept in. Yeah, because those matches were finished behind closed doors. Yeah. There were no fans. Besides that, the matches, I remember, we stay, I think, to five to six, seven months without football. Yeah. Then, you know, footballer, if you stay a week or when they give us three weeks to go to off-season, when you come back, we struggle a lot. We need a month to adjust. So, remember, when we close, we are on a good rhythm mm. of winning match. We just won against the Pirates 1-0 and we lost against the Maslow okay, case finals football. Oh, I but remember you, the Silver But you, Yeah, well, you can see the, the, the level of consistency, the level of the, the team, the direction we are taking. And uh, then the rhythm was cutted by COVID. It's mm -hmm. like now we are in FIFA break. Some teams who closed on a high before this FIFA break, when they come, check, just check them. Yeah. They struggle because rhythm, if you are on a song, you need to continue, continuously going, uh, the, 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 the fire from the core. So that one, we lost the spark. Understand? We lost the spark. Uh, then from there, I had an injury. Then from there, we come back, we're struggling, struggling, we're struggling, we're struggling. But... Uh, the, the the main factor for us not to win that one was not even George leaving us. It was a matter of we we our rhythm was disturbed by COVID. We were not playing football at all. And is now it's not is it not fair to say that by the time you play Baroka, mm. all you need to do and now you even score first. Kamapi let I think yes. he scored the goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, all you needed to do just really maintain that one nil and this, that's it. Like that's the end of it is as easy as that. Like I said, you know, if. We were on the rhythm, like the games never stopped. We should maybe the the, the games were gonna be different. The game against the was it uh, the one we drew? Is it um, Stellenbosch? Uh, there's a match we drew. There's a match we we we, we lost against Sundowns. Uh, the, the, the 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 one chance Reno got and the, oh, yes. there's a chance. Yes, I remember. So, I, yeah, I remember. So I so you could see that that that, that day maybe. Even our, the game against our, Verse, yes, I think. our defender, the level of concentration was high. He was going to close that space earlier and we drew 0-0. Zero, zero. So you could see the dynamics like if we were on the rhythm. So I feel like, we, yes, the Baroga, we should have done better to, to keep that 1-0. But if you look at the bigger picture, we were, we, were, we, were, we were killed by the rhythm. The rhythm was, was, was stopped by, by COVID because I still see like, if we were continuously playing, I don't. I'm telling you, maybe the season we we're gonna wrap it up, maybe with three to four games yeah. to play. But for. George was your partner. He was your midfield partner. You were protecting yeah. him yeah. Um, in the midfield. You were his number six. He was your number eight. Um, you know, in that system, uh, I, I, I still maintain that if he's there, mm. if he's there, if he's there, because 
I spoke to Coach Peter, mm. and I put this question into him. It's a pity that we never uh, got it on camera, this conversation. And that was a masterstroke. That's a, I still maintain that that's the best transfer deal in the history of the Premier Soccer League. Squarely because of the fact that at the time that you get him, you are just stabilizing the opposition, and um, they are leading you by 12 points. I, I take your point about the, the break in between, five, six, seven months, or whatever, however long it was, but I do think that you needed your partner. You needed your number eight for the last six, seven matches that we had. But you see, the thing is, uh, I hear you what, where you're coming from, and uh, 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 I also want you to understand where I'm coming from. Sure. Because, yes, he was my partner, but at the end of the day, uh, he, he might be injured whilst we were in, on, on the course of uh, searching for that league title. So there are many dynamics whereby, okay, contracts is like, uh, 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 I mean, it's a discussion. Sometimes you get it right, sometimes it doesn't get it right. Mm -hmm. But you have to deal with whatever you have. And and also we need to respect the midfielders we had for that particular time. Like they, they were signed by the team that they can do the job. Mm -hmm. So... I yes, we, we wanted him to be with us, but unfortunately, he was not with with us. But the most important thing I feel like killed us, even if that one, he was out of the the, the equation. Whilst we're still having our our rhythm, the season was flowing without this COVID thing. Uh, I I still think like we would have adjusted well and copy and win the the league, but. You know, football is football. You, you never know what 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 people people does when they're in the ball talking about this direction we are taking, whatever. All right. Uh, last few ones uh, on Chiefs. I want to talk about some of the businesses that you're doing now. Um, Athazwane and uh, you have faith. You happy? You thinking it's time? Um, have you been able to see some of the matches? Yeah, I watch because I'm because it's just supporter. Also. <laughs> so I I do watch. I do watch my team. Let's be honest, you know, I I support because of my whole life here in South Africa and to be where I am today is because of the Lagos I left behind. So I support, I watch the team. And yeah, I, I want speak closer to the mic. I, I watch the team and I, I, I wish them. Thank you. They, I, wish, I wish them, I wish them all the best. Yeah, but to, to say, to talk about um, the, the, the coach, obviously we need, we need him to do well because remember, he's representing a... Okay, I'm not racial, but representing the the the, the black community, like uh, what Coach Pizzo just 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 got a new job. Sure. All, all I can do is just be happy for him because if he's successful, the people in the world they are accepting us. Like you know what, these people they can also do it from Africa, the, beyond their continent. So we need to support each other whenever they occupy that position. So I think he's doing a fantastic job. We just need uh, patience and support. And let's just let's just beg of course. One thing I. I don't say like it's as supporters we tend to to put a dark cloud within the, the, the team, within the somebody who's driving the bus. You know, so if you can give them the support he deserves, like um Celtics, just allow him to, to experiment, just allow him to, to flow. I think So you, you would give him at least a year or two if you were the management. But I'm not management. I'm just saying. Okay. Hypothetically. No, no, no the thing is that, you know, the thing is, you know, everybody deserves a fair chance in life, you know, so uh, why not? I think you just need uh, the, the, the love and support, you know. When they support the their team, um, uh, the, the, the Kaiser Chiefs supporters, I think be patient with him, support him. Uh, I think he's going to bring the, the good days. And, uh, you know, for him to be succeed, to succeed, you need to to take that gamble. So get get rich uh, by trying. So it's better for him to keep on trying his methods. But if you start pressing a panicking button, obviously, you know, he's a young coach. He, he can also start panicking. But if you see, you show him like, okay, there's Guardiola 2008 coming from a development mm -hmm. and they end up boom the best Barcelona ever in the history of Barcelona because you know why he was given the support he deserves and they if you are to tell him there are many things he, he, he did wrong he, he's not gonna repeat even today but because he was young he didn't know what's out there you know so he just deserves I mean the, the support and he got the support so I think if 
they can support him i think he's going to do it all right nice one um you th- you feel like you had a few seasons left within you when um Sikukuna said <coughs> uh, they call him time in a career no I, the, what i can say with my team Sikukuna is um i'm very grateful for the opportunity i got a year i played with them and i enjoy my my life you know uh, for the first time i went inside the field you know and, and express myself you know what Oh, this is really. Oh yeah, I saw you in the enjoying. box more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you in the box more. I was, I was a dangerous player. <laughs> I was telling them at training, I'm dangerous, not dangerous by tackling, but dangerous by venturing into those spaces inside the box. So I enjoyed myself, and uh, you know they they showed me. Um, uh, Do you score? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They a few showed, goals. Yeah, they showed me love. And did you score a few goals? No, no, no. I scored one. One. Yeah, yeah. And I missed a couple of. Chances. I remember you so just venturing yeah, yeah, in the yeah, box yeah. when you were there. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but I, 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 I'm happy, and also football. You have to leave it whilst people are still respecting you. And like when people are say, I, I'm too dull. I got me. So I, I say to myself, you know, even my wife says, I'm, I'm too old. So <laughs> I must leave football. So yeah, I So I, but um, for me, I think I'm happy with the the role I got from Skukun, and I'm very grateful, and um. I can just say God bless uh, Skukuni because they they gave me a, a post uh, uh, beyond my playing days. It's it's a lot for me, and I'm enjoying. And every time I'm in and out, still in Popo to 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 mobilize supporters to come and watch our games. All right, nice one. Um, Bosso Yamboka <laughs> Kitoko Makas. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's not bad. Uh, <laughs> why you have an el- elaborate branding name? Just Bosso Yamboka or something. What is it like officially? You know, what's your brand name officially? You know, the the thing is, Bosso Yamboka is something I when I was still playing at Chiefs. I you know even in my caption I used to do that because one in, in Bosso Yamboka is something whereby my caption doesn't mean need to make people know that H is struggling. H that somebody did bad to him. So I just put my my picture Bosso Yamboka. And nobody predicts my life because if you say, put your picture, then caption like, everything is gonna be fine. People say, ah, this guy is depressed. But you just say, <laughs> Bossy Amboka. <laughs> and by that time, maybe my heart is bleeding. Nobody knows. Yeah. But uh, social media, you know, people need to know that this is you. Not like uh, you are mourning, you just, uh, uh, you're talking to your friend indirectly, he did you wrong. No. So I just say, Bossy Amboka. Then I come to the name, Bossy Amboka is. Boss, because when I play, I feel like, and you know, I took charge in the middle. I took charge in the field. Ah, when well, you were there to collect if, yellow cards. If, no, 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 no. You were no, there to collect. Listen, cards. ask every every case. You are a yellow card. No, 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 no. Ask you every every, every case that you've. There's a lot of people that are watching us. Yeah. I'm sure someone will mention everything. Uh, ask, ask, you were a yellow card ask, mentioned. ask everyone. Everyone, I mean, case that you support us. When they still know that Bossy Amboka is at the field, they clap hands like you know what. The the game is gonna yeah, be, the fans the, are talking the, the, the game the game is gonna be is gonna be controlled by by so I feel like you know I was the lion in the jungle so I'm in the midfield I didn't fear anyone I was like I'm the boss here you know then I feel like that was my 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 territory so sure. boss I'm boss boss of the territory boss of the 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 country so sure. that's when I created like okay let me do this was it always gonna be um, leading into the clothing brand. Yeah, because you know, a, 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 luckily I met my wife. She's into fashion, and my father, uh, before he he died, I used to watch his. his I mean, I used to 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 to, to look at his pictures. Uh, he used to dress nice, so he trapped into me like you know what? As a footballer, you're famous. You meet, you bump into a kid at the mall. You need to inspire them. Like, oh, can the footballers can also dress like this up oh, mommy i'd want to be a football but if you just go in there to the mall you bump into a kid you're wearing a paka paka and they showed in your face <laughs> the people always, are gonna say ah I man this was no but you're, not, you're, you're, you're home <laughs> but, but people are gonna say ah no footballers hey, yeah this one is this one famous we see on tv <laughs> but if you're presentable oh this kid is gonna oh i want to be like them so it's a matter of like okay yeah. presenting yourself in a good way the way you carry yourself that's the way the community is gonna yeah see so let's, let's talk about the the excess uh, to the clothes, uh, you have nice T-shirts. Um, how do people get in contact with you then? Um, are, are you looking to put them in shops and stuff like that? Yeah, we have an online store because we're still starting and still here to get to Anvisar, which is in in, in December. Mm-hmm. We have an online store which is www.bosiamboka.store. store. You can order from there, and we have our WhatsApp uh, our WhatsApp line which is zero six nine. 
double five double nine five four six you talk to us you tell us where we are we're gonna we're gonna deliver and we also have a couple of agents around 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 the country in Botswana in Lesotho in Zimbabwe mm. whereby if you want you wherever you are you can contact us with that WhatsApp number then we can uh, direct you to the closer agent to you then you, you're gonna get your merchandise what's your idea of this though like do you want to sell t-shirts do you have um <coughs> women's range in clothing yeah, do, you, do you foresee yourself being a fashion designer yeah 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 yeah. like i said my wife is the one behind lots of uh, creativity within yeah, the yeah. club we 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 have we have ladies clothes and the pants the leggings the tights yeah the jumpsuit uh the bodysuit uh, if you can log on into that uh, online store, everything is there. The, the, the also, I'm yeah. that store. Yeah, even my t-shirts are unisex. So we we have uh, track suits we have been selling during winter and uh, the the puff jackets, and like now we have a lightweight jacket where we are selling. So everything is there on the on the on the online online store, and uh, the choice is yours. So if you just go there, double double dot bossyamboka dot store, you will be embokad with us we are so i think whoever wants to have you done a sneaker already or you're still thinking about it yeah yeah like i said I've, i work with my designer she becomes my friend because i don't have a, a a friend so she's my friend she's my wife she's the designer she's the director so we are working on the on the sneaker which we you gonna think we wanted to bring it uh end of this month um, end of this year but uh, i think because of the we're getting closer to festive i think early next year we're gonna be we're gonna be launching our sneaker maybe i'll give you one pair thank you then when you are where when you are doing your show here because your youtube I mean, friends, I'll you just raise part. your take it. i will always part up no, i'll put time, them there this I'll time, put them. no no this time i'll force you okay. to do that so that people can see like you know what <laughs> this is what where we are going so but uh, Overall, I'm grateful to to give me this platform, obviously, to talk to our people. Yeah. Maybe in 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 your comment section, there are people who believes in me, who believes in Bossy and Boga, and a young boy who is coming from the village who try to to think big, because you know we are trying to change the game, bruh, of footballers. Like when you stop playing, you you're not relevant. So we want to to see like you know when you play do something start a car wash whilst you're playing create another income whilst the big income when the big income stops this one will help you until you get there but mm -hmm. the problem with us footballers we want to start something when that big check stopped and we expect to start a business expect the profit to be similar to the one you was getting as a footballer yeah. my friend you are lying is there but, enough money in football for people to sustain themselves. <laughs> Um, playing for Chiefs, Sundowns, Paris, mm. Czech F Champions League, playing for maybe Bafana Bafana national team. Do you think, in your opinion, there is enough money to sustain you for the rest of your life? Because remember, it's between the ages of 20 and 30-something. Mm. So it's literally 10, if you're lucky, 15 years. Uh, by the time you're 35, you're too old for football, but you're still young in life. I'm 32. I'm still very young in life. Is there enough money to sustain you for the rest of your life? But if you look at me, I'm 36. I'm, I'm young. But in football, I'm too old. Yes. Yeah, but I'm still looking good for. You're a young person. Yeah, I'm still looking good for my age. But what I can tell you, brother, is to be honest with you, our football, um, uh, us as footballers, we have similar background. When I say similar, we 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 grew up we were struggling. Yeah. We used to play in the townships on the roads, something like that, gravel. So when you get an opportunity to find yourself in the setup like the chiefs, you find yourself the first three years, obviously to get decent money. It's impossible. You have to prove yourself. You get a, a, a okay. A, a, it's a almost okay, like a development. A, yes, a okay a contract. Then three years. Remember, these three years. When these three years passes, you're getting older. You understand? Then you get you're already around twenty-eight, and you're getting to that number thirty. Then that's when oh guys, this is me. I can also get this. You understand? Then okay, cool. Then you get that one. Maybe it's gonna take you from twenty-eight to thirty-one, thirty-two. Then, they it's a one year. Let's be honest. Yeah, after thirty, they, they always force you to take one year. Based on your health, it's a one year. Yeah. So now, one year. That's when you start going. At, oh, I'm trying to make real money, which is three years in your career. The other ones was proving yourself. So now, is that money gonna uh, gonna make you live for the next thirty five years? A life of ego. Coach Steve Kumbela said, ego has to sacrifice. Ego has to start living again from 35 years to 70. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm 36. I still need maybe 30, 35 years to live after. So, who am I gonna? Is that did I save enough 
No. So that's why I say we need to start something, a car wash, a catering company, bakery, so that whilst you're still having a source of income, you can also have a look after training, because footballers start at 9, training, finish at 11. We sit watching Netflix. My friend, life is passing. You understand? So you have to sit down and think like, okay, what can I do to better myself? What, where can I? Then you start saying, if I can touch here, touch here. Yes, he's still having a salary. Then when that salary stops or decreases, which is going to another team, you still have here to, to, to focus on. So that's why I say we need to change the game. Multiple streams of yes, income. Yes, we, we need to change the game more by footballers. We don't need to be seen as, as destitute people. Things That's why they label us like our story, the ending is the same. Yes, we need to go to coaching, but I need to go to coaching. Yes, I, I've, I've laid a good foundation for myself. Like this is exactly what I, I'm, I'm doing. Yes, I need to be in the coaching. I need to be, I need to be sucked. Like uh, the headline says, Kansande is sucked. You know, it's a good thing, <laughs> serious, it's good for me. But I'm sucked, but not in my pocket because I can still t buy bread for kids. Yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm pushing hard on my, on my side hustle. And, uh, and I keep my, my circle very small because if you keep it big, there there's some intruders that comes with fake information. So sure. you keep it so short, short. Do you think there's a prevailing mentality of childishness with some of the players? Like they believe that this is going to last forever. Yeah, 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 because obviously, my friend, you're getting a good, good salary. Uh, 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 like now, uh, we are talking about September. They only play three games. The salary is very fit. Uh, Twenty-eight. The money is there. Okay, I can go buy. I can go spend fifty thousand in the in the nightclub. Uh, you you kill the money in three days because you know that the next twenty-eight you're fine. Even if you you are not okay, you're gonna come and cut and you have scored because you know that is coming. So that one is childish because one day that income is going to stop. Yeah. That's the real life that is. What are you going to do? Are you ready? Because, listen, I'm talking, I'm, I'm out there. It's tough. The business, because like I'm sitting with you. You can tell me when I'm a player. Hi, ah, Mr. Katsandi, please can you buy me cake? I can buy you. Because I'm a player. But now I'm a business business minded person. I'll ask you, who are you? What did you do? Yeah. You understand? It's different. What do I get in return? Yeah, because in, in business, maybe profit is five rand. So how consistently can you do to get these five rands? Ten of them, twenty. So footballers they need to sit with their agents, their managers, their parents, their boyfriends, their girlfriends to say, you know what? This thing is gonna stop. What am I gonna do? Yes, you're gonna say you're gonna go into property. Yeah, it's gonna appreciate for me, my friend. How are you going to live? Okay, at the age of thirty-five, you stop playing. You you live with your 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 your, your property. So you wake up doing nothing. That's less. You have to think about something which is gonna generate money every day. Even with all that property business of yours, you need something to generate money every day even if you have a taxi it's fine because you are experiencing the business you are meeting people you are doing this then this because you just can you just woke up at the age of 36 i'm sleeping I, I don't have a plan to do i need to wake up i need the stress like ah, this thing is not doing this let me do this let me do that that's exactly you need we call it sweet stress <laughs> all right let's talk about your family life i know i need to let you go um you are a very busy man um, how's being a wife, sorry, a husband, and uh, do you have children as well? Are yeah, you enjoying yeah, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, since I stopped playing, I'm spending time with my family. Yeah. And I'm enjoying my company with my wife because she's, she's, she's my best friend. She's my partner. She's my everything. I feel like the stories I used to t to do in the football, I can talk to her. And at least I'm not going to prisons and camp. I'm not going to camping. I'm just being with 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 her and my my kids and also on my on my craft, which is very very important. So I'm enjoying my my moment. And like I said, my circle is very small. Whenever you see me, you see my wife. You don't see me with anyone else unless I went to go for my for my job as Kukwane to activate in Limpopo. Other than that, I'll be I'll be enjoying my my company with my my wife. And fatherhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I'm, I'm a good father. I'm a good father. And well, my, it's I, easy I, to be a good father when you have to be away all the time. 
now you are here yeah, all the time. Yeah, now now uh, it's homework. So yeah, I'm a father too. So yeah, people it's homework. It's this and that. Yeah, people are saying I need the, the we need the next Katsande to play in the midfield. <laughs> so I'm busy preparing <laughs> one. So yeah, I'm that I have a job. So I'm enjoying. But the most important thing, you know, I'm covering those years. I, I've been away most of the times, so waking up, going to to training, camping. Yeah, traveling outside the Africa, especially the the CAF Champions Champions League, it has been hectic. You go away for six to seven days, but yeah, here here I am. I'm moving forward. The most important thing is thank God for life. I'm I'm alive and moving forward. Yeah. All right. How many languages do you speak? We we're moving now. We leave. Yeah, I speak. The interview is over. How I many languages? I speak is closer. Zulu, oh, yeah, Zulu, Zulu. Yeah. Uh, but now, now I'm learning Pedi because <laughs> don't they, they they speak Pedi a lot? <laughs> in, in, but, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I can hear the conversation, but <laughs> now I I need to use my tongue to speak. But uh, I'm learning and Shona, and uh, of course English. You've never picked up Africans in South Africa? Hey, no, I try to eat paka. You know, can't it's, it's, it's difficult. Uh, uh, you might end up seeing blood from my tongue. I can't. <laughs> I'm trying, yeah, but I can't, yeah. There you go. Well, thank you very much, man, for joining us. I really appreciate this. Thank you very much, brother. Boom! Here we go. Mm-hmm.